ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, right? ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. The side AB is extended to E in such a way that BE equals to BC. Now angle ADC is 70 degrees, angle BAD is 95 degrees, then angle BCE is equal to what? Options given are 140, 120, 165, and 110. So let's you know draw the figure first. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, now what do you mean by cyclic quadrilateral? All the four vertices of this quadrilateral will lie on the same circle. So let us consider the cyclic quadrilateral first. Right, an easier way of drawing a cyclic quadrilateral is to take the circle first. So let's say this is A, right? This is like uh, let's let's just consider four points. So this is the quadrilateral, the cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. So let's say this is like A, B, C, and B. These are the four vertices. Now you know that in the cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles are supplementary. So angle A plus angle C should be 180. Angle B plus angle D has to be 180, right? 180 degrees. Now what else is given here? B, A, the side AB is extended to E. Now this side AB is extended to E. It is extended to E, up to E, right? Let's say this is the point E. In such a way that BE is equal to BC. So B equals to BC. This is BE. And here is BC. These two are equal. Of course, visually, when you see these two, doesn't look to be equal, but that's what is given in the question, right? So we maybe we will reduce this length a little. It doesn't matter. See whether the diagram appears to be in line with the question or not doesn't really matter. I mean, in in terms of exact scale, you need not worry about that. It should be appropriate. So let us extend up to E this point. So now it is okay, right? It has been extended in such a way that BE equals to BC. Now, what else is given? Angle ADC, angle ADC. This angle is 70 degrees. This angle is given as 70 degrees. Now, the moment you know that angle ADC is 70, we can say that angle CBA, this angle would be 110. Why? Opposite angles are supplementary. So, if this is 70, this has to be 110. Then, next point says angle BAD is 95. What is angle BAD? BAD, this angle. Angle A is 95. Now, if this is 95, what should be angle C? Angle C should be 85. 85 degrees. Why? Same argument, right? Opposite angles will be supplementary. So 95 plus 85 makes it 180 degrees. So we basically know all the four interior angles of this quadrant. And what else do we know? BE equals to BC. Now he's asking us to find out angle DCE. Angle DCE. Angle DCE. Right? So let us connect CE first. Connect CE. He's asking us to find out angle DCE. This angle. Angle DCE. You get it? Angle DCE. Now if you if you observe. It is, it is something like this. DCE is actually a straight line. Let me only take that part of the figure which is important to us, right? DCE is like a straight line. Then we have uh, this here, right? We know that BC is equal to BE. These two sides are equal, right? Now, if these two sides are equal, uh, obviously their uh, angles will also be equal, right? Opposite angles will be equal, right? So this angle would be equal to this angle. And moreover, we know that angle DCB, angle DCB is 85 degrees. Angle DCB is 85 degrees and this angle here is 110 you're getting it i'm just trying to redraw only the important part of it right forget about the circle and all that now if you observe if angle uh, cba let's say this is a this point is a angle cba is 110 what should be this angle this angle has to be 70. why this is a straight angle right angle a b e is a straight line so angle has total angle has to be 180 degrees now already on this side, on the left hand side, we have 110. So the remaining part has to be 70. Now, because BC is equal to BE, because BC is equal to BE, the two angles have to be equal. The remaining angles have to be equal. So we can say angle uh, BCE, angle BCE should be equal to angle CEB. Those two angles will be equal because basically this is an isosceles triangle, right? BC is an isosceles triangle. And we can also say that the measure of each of these angles will be how much? See, if this part is 70, remaining is 110. So that 110 should be divided into two equal parts. 110 degrees by 2. It comes out to be 55 degrees each. You're getting it? So angle C is 55 and angle E also is 55. 55 degrees. What is he asking us to find in the question? Angle DCE. Right? Angle DCE. Now look at this. Angle DCE can be taken as what? Angle DCB plus angle BCE. So 85 degrees plus 55 degrees. That is 140. Right, 140 degrees option one would be the correct answer. And again, like I usually say, you need not write all these uh, you know statements on paper there. Right? I would say this question can be uh, answered just by drawing the diagram properly. Once you've drawn the diagram properly, you can mark all the values on the diagram itself. Right? You need not write A, B is 180 degrees, 
dc equals to cb equals to 110 by 2 and all that stuff right so try to cut down the number of steps the the point to be taken here is cut down the number of steps and uh, get the answer as quickly as possible so the original diagram is this right 140 degrees option 1 